so the football will be at the 25 yard line oh, as this offense gets set to take over. A carry by Taylor to start the drive. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. These are his numbers from last week's contest. 13 carries, 114 yards, and a score. Yeah, he could very well be on his way to a rushing title, but guess what? His offensive line, they're meeting separately because they want that rushing title as much as he does, and they want to make sure they get it there. Yeah, boy, the strength on display there as he rumbles through tacklers for a gain of about eight. A well, second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Ready. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. Ready. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. The Colts at 10 and 2 on the year. And they've certainly found their groove of late. Winners of five in a row. And this team is absolutely playing their best football right now. This is the best that we've seen them play in a long time, partner. Sky's the limit as far as they're concerned. Their confidence really soaring. Out of the gun now on third down. And he'll find Pittman. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll try and set up the screen to Hines. Bulldozes past him. And he will reach the 8-yard line before going out. 23 yards on the play. And when you're throwing the ball downfield really well like they have been on this drive, it's really a nice time to work one of the screen plays in. One of my favorite play callers in the game has always told me he starts every game with... And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Now following the interception, this offense will get another shot at it as they'll quickly head back onto the field. They'll come out throwing here on first down. He'll drop this down to Taylor, and he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. First and 10, Taylor now. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long way, way out there, but it'll be third down. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And open, that's Kiki QT complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 26. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Micah Parsons in there to get him, and on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. On second down, it's Taylor. And room there to work it inside the 25. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Over the middle, complete. That's Taylor. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 13-yard line. And now a stoppage. It looks like we have a Colt who was shaken up on that last play. After one, seven, nothing. On EA Sports. Come on, come on. Hey. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. 50 catches for him now on the year, and he's got a first down. Back to 
to throw here. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. Quarterbacks oh, yeah. work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just scared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage. Able to knock that one away. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, oh, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, Defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of him. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Jonathan Taylor, his eighth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Colts go up by two touchdowns. So it The Colts come to the line, ready to start their next drive. Let's go now. And they come into this one riding that nice long win streak. And remember, next weekend is an open week for them. So if they can get the win here, a lot of momentum into that time off. It certainly is. And if you're wondering if anybody's saying, boy, this is coming at a bad time, we want to keep playing. The answer can be yes, because when teams are on a hot streak, they want to keep going. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Cowboys have recovered. In their locker room, they've got a sign that says defense wins championships. And Charles, they pointed to that this week. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. And some room to roam now. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. He'll take a shot downfield for Pittman. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Back to throw. He'll find Paris Campbell. That's complete. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Running straight ahead, Taylor runs over it. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Now he's got his target. It's caught for a Colts touchdown. Now following the interception, this offense will get another shot at it as he'll quickly head back onto the field. They'll try and start this drive in the air. They'll set up the screen to Taylor. Now that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. Behind the chain, second and 13. On the draw is Taylor. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. They'll get four on second down, but it leaves him with third and still nine to go. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. We'll start up at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Halftime over, no problem with us. We skip right to the third quarter and continue this midseason contest. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for court. The Colts come to the line, ready to start their next drive. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he'll get this up to about the 40. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. They'll set up to throw. 
And this will be swung out wide for Taylor. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great... Oh, he faked it with a juke. Now he's got some room. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A really nice gain of 25 yards. They'll run the toss here with Taylor. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. They'll look to throw. Throw taken in by Taylor, left side. And all the way down inside the five to the four. They're going to hurry back to the line now. They'll look to throw here. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Naeem Hines, his first touchdown on the year. And the Colts have moved out in front by three touchdowns. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. Their lead down from 21 to 14, but still sitting in a great spot. Up two scores here in the third quarter. A little bit of space there for the first down run as that's going to get them about five yards. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. On play action, they'll throw. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. They'll look to throw now on first down. Back to the same target, Campbell. And he's got some space here. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 27. Tackle made that time by Anthony Barr. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. You are watching the NFL. Now in Arlington, it's the Colts. They've got control of the football. They also have the lead as we start the fourth. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where there'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Now we give to Taylor. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. Jonathan Taylor, his third touchdown of the game, number 14 on the year. And the Colts add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Well, I've heard you use the term. The Colts come to the line, ready to start their next drive. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Again, it's Taylor. Only gets three yards there on the heels of the one-yard pickup. Sets up third and six. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, here's Taylor. A nice little juke. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. 146 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ballgame. 
from the gun. It's Taylor. And he'll take this down to the 33. They suspected that it was a power play up the middle coming at them. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get you reset. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. On the handoff, Taylor. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Looking to throw. He'll find Taylor. That's complete. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Blankenship's kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So after five touchdowns offensively, hey, maybe it's time to get the kicker a little work, and he's able to connect there. A higher scoring game, Charles, than we typically see in the National Football League, but fun to watch these offenses. They were really clicking. It seemed like everything that they dialed up worked. Yeah, so it was fun to watch from our perspective. I'd like to be those defensive coaches, though. That wasn't a blast for them at all. And let's face it, they all game plan. They all scout. They all think they're prepared. But executing and stopping teams, that's another matter entirely. So for the Colts, the win pushes their record now to 11-2 on the year. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for the Cowboys, this loss cost them in the playoff chase as they fall back to 7-5 on the year. And